The night Brianna Taylor was killed, her neighbor tells us she heard banging and then the sound of gunfire. She turned on her cell phone camera just in time to catch what happened next. He was saying he was scared and stuff. He was like, my girl. I heard him saying, my girl, my girl, I'm scared. Janiyah Utterback watched from her window as Louisville police ordered Kenneth Walker to come out of his girlfriend, Brianna Taylor's apartment, in the early morning hours of March 13th. They had the guns pointed all at him, all at everybody's house. Utterback says just minutes before, she heard what she thought was an argument. Then I heard like some beating, some loud beating, and I heard like come out or something like that. I just heard shots like bop, 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 a whole lot of shots. What she heard was three officers from LMPD's criminal interdiction unit executing a search warrant at Taylor's home. When they forced entry, Walker, who says he believed they were intruders, fired a shot and the officers fired back. Back. Taylor was standing in the hallway and was hit several times. She died at the scene. They never said police. Utterback says she began recording video with her cell phone after she saw an injured officer come out of the apartment and someone shout, reload. She watched as they yelled for Kenneth Walker to come out. Come outside. Turn around, face away. Turn around, face away. Turn around, face away. Walker responds, I'm trying, and he's seen backing up between two cars and kneeling down in front of officers. Utterback's next video shows him being escorted by police in handcuffs. Yeah, I was scared because I was like, dang, the police is really out here. Like, it's like, got guns on everybody's houses and stuff. Like, we don't know what's going on. The next morning, she says she watched as a body bag was taken out of Taylor's apartment. The police is the people we call when we need help. Like, they killing us. We can't, that's not right. And she didn't deserve it. Denny Camper, WLKY News.